Well, we are now heading to a next topic, um, staying ahead of the competition. And what is it about when we're talking about choosing the right business location? I'm kindly asking to come on stage and to welcome with me on stage Alexander Biach with the title Business Location, um, pardon, um, Alexander Biach, Business Location Advocate of Vienna and Deputy Director of the Vienna Chamber of Commerce. Welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, for the introduction and uh, welcome. Uh, I'm trying to talk about uh, the attractiveness of uh, Vienna as a business uh, hub, as a business location. Uh, what I try to introduce to you are the advantages we think about, Vienna has, and uh, we will somehow try to focus on some points, uh, on some strengths we try to strengthen even more in, in, in the future. So we step into, as I think I have about 10 minutes left, uh, this is Vienna at a glance, business in Vienna at a glance. Uh, you see uh, we are a growing city, one of the fastest growing cities, now only about uh, 1.9 million inhabitants, but uh, in some years uh, we will reach the 2 million uh, inhabitants number, so this is a quite developing place, and what we are really proud of is this uh, first place. Uh, it's what is written in, a more, in more tiny letters is uh, we are the f number one in the attractiveness and uh, living full place uh, of the world. Uh, so this makes Vienna maybe one of the most interesting cities around the, the globe. Um, we try to focus also on research and demand, 3.6% are a quite high uh, figure in comparison to other spaces and areas in, in Austria. So uh, we focus on, on high quality also uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, education and research and demand. Uh, what are the five most uh, important uh, uh, fields we try to engage in? Uh, and which we are proud of, but we, which we try to develop even more. Uh, it is areas, location areas, where I'm responsible for. It is the development of the infrastructure. It is uh, CERT, the, the, advocation, or the uh, vocational trainings or the, the, the skilled uh, 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 workforces. It is force, the mobility, and five, some kind of security. Uh, like uh, which we preserve through the social partnership. But let us step into. Uh, first of all, living and working. Areas uh, where you can work in and develop Vienna. Uh, we choose a quite interesting way. We preserved or reserved some areas only for production. So there is no housing in these uh, areas. But in these areas you can develop uh, industrial production, um, and like we have three of these uh, areas you find in the south, uh, production areas with traditional crafts uh, and, and, and industries, also service uh, offices. We have to the, uh, to the east uh, areas where uh, we try to uh, develop in, in um, Look, uh, in in uh, logistic, sorry, logistic uh, fields, as there is a quite good uh, connection to the areas of the Danube River to the uh, airport, and uh, we try to develop in this uh, in this east area some logistic fields, and in the north area we try to uh, focus on pharmaceutical uh, branches and it also in uh, energy and, and new technology uh, branches. So these are reserved for the production uh, areas in Vienna and shouldn't be like disturbed if you don't mind uh, me to say this uh, with housing activities because it is always the same like you, you introduce housing activities in these areas and the production has to move on. So we want to keep uh, the production in Vienna, therefore we reserve the, the areas. We try to keep on public housing in Vienna as you need workforces. Uh, Vienna is quite famous for attractive prices in housing. Uh, what you see here is that about 
500 uh, people, 500,000 people are living in public housing, which is uh, attractive uh, for a uh, good model for other uh, big cities uh, in order to keep housing prices uh, affordable. So staying to areas, developing areas is one of uh, the points we want to stick on in the future. Second part, infrastructure. What we need is a very modern developed infrastructure. We have these projects here. Um, they range from a bus terminal, a coach station, over a multifunctional event hall, uh, going up to uh, broadband uh, uh, development. You heard a lot about this these days. But we also try to focus on uh, airport development, uh, highway development, but also mainly on a broad gauge, which is uh, one of our special projects. Uh, in Vienna, I will explain you. It's a railway. Um, it's a railway uh, connection. It's a connection reaching from uh, from the east, coming from uh, Russia, Ukraine, uh, up until the border of Slovakia, at the city of uh, Kosice. From there, uh, it, there's a new construction going to the to Bratislava and to the region of Vienna. The advantage of this broad gauge is it's about 400 kilometers to be developed, but it can does give you a direct connection to this Belt and Road Initiative. You uh, go from Moscow to Kazakhstan, from there to the border of China, and then you switch from the broad gauge again to the normal gauge uh, and reach uh, regions like Shanghai, Hong Kong also, in about 12 to 15 days. So this gives you a, a really advantage compared to, to, to shipping uh, and cost advantages to airports. Uh, that's a strategy we, we work on and try to develop in the area of infrastructure. We are proud about the skilled labor. Uh, we have a high level of students, for example, in Vienna, about 200,000 students, one of the biggest student university cities in the German-speaking uh, area. But we also try to focus on this apprenticeship as we have trainings, vocational trainings, in combination in business and in schools. Uh, so this is one of the, 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 the third step we try to develop even more. Uh, dual ac academies for uh, for uh, young uh, people or also for uh, students who, who try to switch into uh, business uh, trainings in order to get uh, the right stuff uh, for developing business in Vienna. Uh, next uh, area is the mobility area. What you see here, Vienna is in a quite suitable reach destination uh, within the heart of Europe. Uh, we try to work on more direct connections in the uh, airport or plane uh, sector. But we also try to develop Vienna as some kind of green city. About 50% of Vienna uh, is with fields and woods. Uh, and we also try to uh, lower uh, the emissions. What you see here is from the year in 1993, we had uh, public transport 29%. In the year 2018, we are up to 38%. So this is a quite attractive uh, development uh, for living in Vienna. Well, and I mentioned the last field we have and tried to engage in as a Chamber of Commerce, together with the unions, uh, is the social partnership. Why do we try to engage this? Why do we try to to negotiate on, on uh, treaties uh, because of this. What you see here are the striking days uh, from the year 2007 up to the year 2016. Uh, you find about two days of strikes within Austria. Uh, so this is maybe one of the most attractive points why to settle business here in Vienna. Uh, these are the five fields we focus on. Uh, we try to develop uh, through these strangers new uh, attractive areas, mainly concentrating on the medicine uh, sector, on the health hub of Vienna. This will be one of our uh, main strategies and also to develop, uh, to keep Vienna up 
uh, on the top as smart city number one, uh, which is not always digital, but which is smart in solutions. And this we will offer and serve and work on. Thank you for the attention. All the best. Thank you very much, Alexander Bier. Thank you. Thank you.